Hello, Lee Yu. Uh, I hope you're holding up well. This will be some video feedback for uh, Milestone 1, which is 3-2. And then I'll take a look at what you posted in the discussion board just to see if there's any difference. But I bid you strength. And don't hesitate to uh, email or text me if you have any questions. So, um, Lee Yu, when I open up your submission, I see that you've got uh, sources for your images. And uh, here is your Illustrator file. Now, when I open it, uh, watch what happens. We may get some error messages about missing images. Okay, here we go. See, um, there's two things you can, two ways you can place images in Illustrator. You can either link to an image that you have, a file that you have external to the Illustrator document, or you can embed the image. Embedding the image allows you to have a standalone file and makes it portable and you don't need to package up a bunch of high-res images. It does, however, make for a larger file. I'm just going to click through these. Uh, we'll look at your ad a different way. Um, I'm just wanting to look at the layer structure that you've got. And you've got everything on layers, uh, including images, too. And you've got them labeled. So good job on that. You're uh, proficient in using layers in Illustrator. Not so easy. I'll leave you, um, I just wanted to say that, you know, it, it's unusual to have a horizontally oriented magazine ad. I think I've seen them. Um, you might want to maybe do a Google search for horizontal magazine ad uh, successes or something. But generally speaking, they're going to be vertical. Um, and because this requires the viewer to uh, flip the magazine. I think you can do that and keep the same ingredients. Um, I would be careful about using so much text, you know, uh, make it small and think about what you want the hierarchy to be. Do you want the images to be prominent? Um, do you want the text to be secondary? Right now, everything is about the same level of um, noise, I guess, or sound. And uh, if everything is, um, you know, speaking loudly, then it's hard to hear. So I guess what I'm suggesting is fewer elements smaller type, um, simpler promos, maybe less less copy, uh, consider bleeding your images off the edge. It's okay to do that with images, however type needs to be kept you know, pretty clear of the edge. Um, and avoid borders, I think, as you have uh, between photographs. Just let the edge of the photos butt up to each other and there'll be plenty of uh, distinction there. Um, Contact information, you know, what are the modern contemporary ways of reaching a URL? Well, I'm thinking QR codes. Anyway, anything that you can do to make it contemporary, I think, um, would be good in your refinements. I look forward to, you have the ingredients, though, and you understand layers well enough to be able to make an animated GIF from these ingredients. So I look forward to seeing that.